What's <laughs> Stop! It's like the fifth time we did this. <laughs> we smiled today. <laughs> Why are we so smiling? Because it's in you. We always smile though. Yeah. All right. What's <laughs> this? Stop! Ryan! <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? Take seven. What's, What's going on, Bertram? Welcome back to our channel, guys. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, turn on your post notifications, and join the yeah. family. So today, I'm finally bringing you guys the one month post-op video. If you guys don't know, I got a breast augmentation about, um, it's been a little bit over a month, this video's kinda late, but. <laughs> I mean, it's been about five weeks. Yeah, we did film literally everything to do with the surgery, just like, surgery Every. day, before, after. But if you guys wanna see all those videos, you can go watch those. I wanted to update you guys on everything of how I'm feeling and I'm also gonna be showing you guys some before and after. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into telling you guys how I'm looking and feeling. A lot of you had questions on how they actually feel. And so I do think that they've definitely loosened up a little bit more, but they still do feel pretty hard. I've been doing my massages and everything and they are starting to move a little bit like i know when i do certain things i like feel them move a little bit but for the most part they're still pretty firm i know they say it takes between like three and three months to a year to like drop so i did get a moderate profile i didn't get a high profile just because i wanted them to be as natural as possible i did get technically 310 cc's and so you can tell that, which I'm not, I'm not mad about it, but I don't know how they're gonna look like eventually. Little, little T on this one. Yeah. So this one, and I honestly, you guys can tell, but like this one, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit bigger, you can tell, but it just like, you can just see that it may have a little bit more cleavage. And I'm not mad about it. I'm hoping that over time they kind of, you know. Yeah, I think they said that too. Yeah. That it, it, it's gonna take time. They're never perfect or something like that. Yeah, they they said that like boobs are never the same. And that's kind of how it was prior to the surgery. Prior to my surgery, I was like a 34 double A or something like that. So literally my boobs were like grapes. <laughs> Like I literally was like nothing. And for me to get even a little bit of cleavage wasn't even possible. <laughs> but- This is not a wrong session, okay? You were, no, I'm you were trying, here, okay? I mean, no, no, I, I, I'm trying to be real because I was, okay. I was flat. Now my bra size, I know that, I don't actually know my bra size because I haven't really been wearing bras. And when I do wear bras, they're just like sports bras. So I know that I have to be like a full C, so I don't technically know yet, but if I know, I'll let you guys know on my Instagram when I have to buy bras and stuff. I do wanna say I'm not really in that much pain anymore. I do know that I still have discomfort and like I know like me raising my arms still to a certain point is uncomfortable and when Ryan like bumps into me or like he lays on me or like I put too much pressure on them they hurt and they're still a little bit uncomfortable. This towel is good. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> I probably said that like 15 times <laughs> I swear. But I'm just like getting really good look at it now. <laughs> Oh, another thing that I had mentioned to you guys before is the numbness around my nipples. So my nipples are still numb. And actually, like if my nipples here, because I can't feel it, but if my nipples here, this whole part right here, like this strip is still numb. So like I can feel on the sides of my boobs, not on the insides of my boobs, but like the middle part is still numb. And I don't know when that's supposed to go away. I know that my incisions are looking pretty good. I am actually about to purchase something for my scars, so if you guys want to see what I use, you can go follow my Instagram. But they're they're like this big. They're like an inch long. Yeah, they're not. And they're healing really well. Hopefully, the scars can be completely gone. I know a lot of girls that have been able to get rid of theirs. So they're looking pretty good. So I feel like I'll be able to get rid of mine. I'm about to show you guys some before and afters. So oh, Ryan, like this. I'm, I'm gonna have Ryan try and talk to you guys about how he been through this whole experience with me. So you can kind of talk to him about your, how you felt about everything, okay? 
Okay, well, I go get my phone. I'm awesome. I'm yes, awesome. by yourself. All by yourself. <laughs> Bye. So I think they look like oversized M&Ms, if y'all know what I'm saying. Like they got that like perfect roundness and I, I think they look so good. I tell her literally every day how good she looks. Like it honestly amazes me how she went through surgery and she still looks that damn good. Like I remember when I went through surgery and I was just, I lost like a lot and she just, she just still looks that good. It's crazy. She is literally glowing. And I, I do think that's that. You know confidence that she's built up and I love seeing that I love seeing her happy y'all I will say like this it, it, it truly is like a real like you got to have a month you got to have some time some free time to do this because women out there that are planning on mm, I ain't seen that top in a minute mm. women that are planning on getting this done boyfriends husbands or mom and dad brothers and sisters y'all gonna be have to be there i was very very crippled for like the first week yeah. like i know that people literally after three days they were perfectly fine but me on the third day it looked like i got ran over by a bus i remember no i remember going into my post-op appointment and the doctors were like are you good yeah. like <laughs> it's just the whole process of surgery though like yeah some people just take that kind of pain and that kind of stuff differently. This is my first top and I'm actually gonna pop up the picture right here and as you guys can see I had like no cleavage and like it they were grapes okay but now so they're like you know there <laughs> that's kind of like the side profile and i do like how they're not too high on my chest it fits me really well and it's not too big like too in your face where you like the first thing you look at is my move this is the next top and right here is the picture that i took from my instagram and this is the same bra and actually is really uncomfortable as you that's can so see. crazy y'all <laughs> literally like popping out because it's too small and it's oh my too tight. goodness <laughs> but wow that one shows a huge difference yeah that's like the side profile of it it's so crazy too because i do feel like the camera kind of it messes up i feel like obviously it does people think you're taller than me <laughs> So <laughs> I feel like they do look a little bit smaller on camera. Yeah, the camera makes them look smaller for some reason. Yeah, but, but like, like when you look at them like this, though, like I'm like <laughs> right now, like <laughs> like this shit crazy. Oh wait, do that again. Do that again. <laughs> You're <laughs> so stupid. This is the next tank top, and I'm actually gonna insert the video of what this tank top looked like before. And so as you guys can see, you could just tell that it was just so flat. And wow. now. This is kind of like a workout tank top. Damn, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it probably looks like I'm looking right here, but I'm like looking. I'm looking there too. At I myself. Wanna see it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see everything. Okay, so I have one more, and it's actually a bikini top, so I can show you guys kind of how I looked like before and now what I look like when I wear these certain bikinis. This will kind of show the overall shape too. So this is the bikini top, and this is what it looked like before. Wow, <laughs> that is such a difference. So you guys can see that cleavage, actually, you guys can't see it, but my whole under boob is like exposed. Like, and this doesn't even fit no more. It like doesn't even, <laughs> it doesn't even like barely cover, but Ooh. that's kind of like what the side boob looks like. Y'all already know the Instagram content this summer is gonna be fire. Yeah. So make sure y'all go follow both of our Instagrams. But I just overall do like the size that I got. I mean, I can always go bigger in the future if I really wanted to, but I do like the size that I started with. I didn't want to go something over the top, especially proportionate to my body size. I wanted it to be a good size that fit me and not just like, Here's my boobs. <laughs> I feel like they make me fit into clothes way better. And that's honestly one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to do it in the first place. It gives me that like that I needed. Yeah. Because and I had none of You always look that. good, but like this definitely made you look. It was like a little cherry. It was like a cherry yes. on top because yes, for I me, like that. Yeah. I, I love like hearing this stuff come out of her mouth, y'all. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I love hearing how happy and confident you are because like 
We've been together for four years, y'all. Four years this coming Thursday, actually. This coming Thursday, y'all. What did y'all think I have? Oh my god. <laughs> four years. I haven't heard. Now it's like. I do feel like I this see was it too. just like the the push. You know? yeah. We love y'all so much for all just like the positive vibes you show yeah. us. But there are gonna be a few out there that like to say some negative stuff, and, and they're just gonna and run that, their that's mouth. all right, y'all, because not everybody in the world is gonna like you and love you. And if they want to spread negative vibes and negative things, then then they have something in their life that they need to fix. I do want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support, and to have Ryan and all of you next to me and just be there for me when I was really down. I just love you guys so much, and I literally can't tell you guys how much I appreciate everything. Okay, I changed. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into these questions that you guys had asked me. I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram. So I just screenshotted the most asked one. So the first one says, did you ever regret doing it because of the circumstances that occurred during the healing process? I like this one because- <laughs> <laughs> I like that one too. Yeah, because at the beginning, oh my gosh, sorry. I just got distracted, but what is that? What is what? You see that like, you see it? The water? Oh shoot. Is that the tornado? It's a water spout. No, it's not. It is. No. You, Yo, do you guys see that? There's a water spout right there. Oh no, it's still, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. Okay, sorry. I literally haven't seen one of those. Okay, anyway, let's take it back. <laughs> okay, so during the healing process, I actually ended up in the ER because I was nervous about my breathing and it didn't end up being too serious, thank God. I don't regret it. I will say like four days into the healing process, I was like, am I ever going to feel better? Like I was like sitting there and I was like, I'm going to in bed. I was in so much pain. Wasn't that the worst day? Your worst day was the fourth day, right? Oh, no. Day? Yeah, I think I'm thinking about the third day. The third day I think was the worst day yeah. for me. But do I regret it now? No. I feel... I feel good now. <laughs> do they still feel real? So eventually <laughs> they should. Everybody that I've talked to that got a breath augmentation said that they do end up feeling natural and normal, but right now they do, they do not. They feel like- I think it's because of just how firm they are. Yeah. And also to go along with that, I don't, I don't know if I said this or not, but I did get silicone implant. How much was it? Did you pay in full upfront? So I'm not gonna say how much I paid because Everywhere is different and yeah. I don't want to give you guys a number that I paid that somebody else could have paid way more, way less than me. And so I'm not going to say how much I paid, but I did pay a security like deposit up front, which was like, I will say it's like normally like $500 or something like that. And then after, I think the week before your surgery, when you have your pre-op appointment, I did pay all up front the rest for it. Yeah. Do they feel heavy and can you feel the difference? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Loki, I've been wondering that too. Yeah. I haven't even asked that. I haven't so, thought about that. Like asking. I know. So just standing here, yes and no. Like now I feel like I'm used to it, but like at the beginning, it was the weirdest feeling ever. I do know that if I go and do something and I'm- <laughs> Why are you moving like I that? I know, no, because I'm like, like that's how like I feel like I'll reach for something and I'm like, what is in my way? But it's like, <laughs> it's just there now. And so that was like, that's still weird to get used to. But do they feel heavy? The only time that I feel the heaviness of them is when I bend over. Like right there, I can feel like, I can feel it. But other than that, like it's not like it's significantly heavy. I don't feel like I have so much tension, but obviously I'm gonna feel a little bit of a difference. Can you still breastfeed? So I got the under boob incision and I got it under the muscle. And the reason why I got it under the muscle is because I did still want to be able to breastfeed whenever we have kids. I feel like that's gonna be a talked about question for a little while. Yeah, I know. When we have kids. Right, I know. Actually, I can answer that. Now, no. No? No, not yet. Not yet? I don't give them that yet. Oh, okay. Don't okay. Give them that yet. <laughs> okay. Yes, I should be able to. And I have talked to a few other moms that have breast augmentations, and they still, they like breastfed and. 
like everything was normal, so. I like this question because I feel like this isn't something that people think about. This was probably one of the worst part about the whole thing. What was your experience with the anesthesia? I honestly, that was probably one of the worst part. I had a terrible reaction to the anesthesia. My stomach, every single time I would eat, I would ball my eyes out. Like literally every single time I would even have one bite or one drink of something, my stomach would be, be in the most excruciating pain ever. I, honestly, the stomach pain was worse sometimes than the actual surgery incisions. That goes along with like everybody reacts different to surgery and yeah. like stuff like this. I was... <laughs> I know all of my ladies are wondering this question because I was wondering the same thing. How did your nipples change? Did they get lighter or darker, bigger or smaller? I feel like my nipples have been the same size and like the same color. Like they didn't get lighter or darker or like stretch out or anything. Maybe if I were to go like super, super big, they could yeah. have like stretched out more, but I don't know if it's just the size that I got. I personally didn't experience any like nipple change. That was something Montana was really scared about too. Yeah. So she was asking like that every nipples. single day. Yeah. Was it worth it? Yes. I feel like it was definitely worth it. I definitely- It was worth it in my eyes too. Yeah. Just like seeing you, mm -hmm. def it was definitely worth it. And even if there's some things like minor things that I don't like about it or I didn't like about the recovery process, I just know at the end of the day that like I'm happy with what I have right now. Feeling myself more than obviously I feel like you guys have seen. And you know, you guys, you guys notice everything. <laughs> you really do. I haven't really wanted to be like, yeah, I'm feeling like that, bit, but, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> just see it, right? <laughs> but y'all literally notice everything, like literally. And on that note, go give this video a like. <laughs> Let's see how many likes we get this video to for how confident oh she has got. Oh my gosh, how happy she is for this smile right here, y'all. We love seeing. A few days ago, I was like bawling my eyes out because Ryan said something to me. And he was like, no, 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 it was good, it was good. <laughs> no, no, it was good. Why did I want to hear about this? No, when you said that a long time ago, it was like a year ago, maybe two years ago, and I was like, I can't oh. imagine me being confident. I can never imagine myself being confident. And then I started bawling my eyes out because he was like, because like, look at you right now. I started bawling my eyes out. I'm definitely not trying to tell you guys or push you guys to go do anything to what you look like. All whatsoever. the videos we did was because we bring you guys on everything we do in, in our life. I feel like I got to a point in my life where I was really content with being flat chested and I knew that, I knew that that was just me. That was just like who I was. And that was something that I like looked past and it really wasn't an insecurity of mine anymore. I knew that I didn't need it, but I just wanted it. And I knew that I was at a point where I was like, I wasn't like, I'm gonna hate myself if I don't get it, but I'm glad that I did and I feel good about it. So I was trying to think of like really bad side effects that happened. And I know one was the rash you got. Yeah. She got like I mean, a little rash. Um, yeah, and I still actually experienced some of it on my side. But then other than that, it was like stomach problems, a little bit of trouble breathing, a lot of pressure. Bloating was really, really, really bad for me, but I go along with the stomach issues. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope I answered all of your questions. We missed any? You can DM me on Instagram <laughs> or comment down below. Yeah, I feel like I covered a good bit and I feel like everything that I would have wanted to know pre my surgery. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today's post notification shout out goes to Kiki Riley. Shout out to you, we love you so, so much. much. But if you guys wanna shout out at the end of our videos, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and comment down below. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.